It is time to take the gloves off on the vultures who are on Facebook trolling against Greg Gard, the Badger men's basketball coach. Oh, he needs to go into junior college and cut his teeth. Give me a break. He cut his teeth over years and years of learning as Bo Ryan's assistant, and then last year, thrown into the fire with a team that had five losses when he took over. They won at Maryland. They won at Iowa. They beat Xavier in the second round to go to the Sweet 16. His teeth have been cut. He doesn't shoot the free throws. They work on free throws every day in practice. He doesn't throw the ball away against the press. They work on the press breaker all the time in practice. I mean, give me a break. Senior leadership maybe needs to get a little stronger, but Greg Gard knows what he's doing. He's an excellent basketball coach. He has proven that time and time again. People who question Greg Gard as a basketball coach don't know what they're talking about. Chances are they've never played basketball in their lives, and I guarantee you they've never coached basketball. Sometimes you have to get compliance from the players. They have to come through. They can't have their own agendas. They can't uh, go a different way or march to be a different drummer. They have to be on the same page. There needs to be senior leadership, all that stuff sometimes is beyond the purview of the head coach. He or she can do the best that he or she can do. But guess what? Greg Gard is not the problem. And the Badgers may go a long way in this tournament. If they do, I want to grab all those Facebook posts and keep reposting them over and over so people can see who said those things. My two cents, my two minutes, are brought to you by Capital Consultants and Edge Construction. Mike Tuig and his staff can read your kitchen, your basement, your bathroom, your staircase, make your home feel just like home. Go Badgers. We'll talk about this and more tomorrow at 8 on The Mitch Hanks Show on MadisonTalks.com.